it's nice to meet you. Who can I hide you from today? Stimpak reserves adequate. Medex reserves empty. Data collection array online. Please use the terminal below to begin user synchronization. This is the basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us. Too bad, we were spotted by robots. If you go back to the terminal to restart the test, I won't mess up again.
stealth bolts are a robot's big weakness. Test data processed. Firmware updated to version 1.1. Boot damping sensors online. Our 
That's all. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. scar that laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape as if by some child it is mobius's fortress from that hemorrhoidal fissure he sends his amazing robo scorpions to terrify and irritate us <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic what you did your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Yes, hmm, ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, um, hmm. No, I mean yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on on how to use them. Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Yes, that's what I believe I said. I've got it. The cardiac regulator in the suit, the antenna for brain waves, and the sonic frequency for the vertebral nerves. I'm thinking. This is all very complicated. Let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and null pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Biological? <laughs> Ridiculous. 
I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity? It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Breaking news! Talking Lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose? Unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here? Unpossible. Oh, really? Now the Lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And... Stop the presses. Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make in the last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. Ugh. Damn Robco. <laughs> Worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Fine. Ask. All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. 
Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Yeah, I do. It wasn't always, oh. I just took that one by default, because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. Makes my gel ripple. Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after Colosto Diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh. Vivisect me, please. What? Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion... <laughs> ...eventually. Oh, oh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. O oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. They make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these... Really impressive-looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every... time. Supposedly, he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? I'd have a few left. Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a... Slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. 
Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. Time to fight. <laughs> 